Hi there, okay, so test number two, this is AM medium wave, 105.3 uh, kilohertz torque sport, one of my favorite radio stations to listen to when I'm driving the car. Um, so again, on the left, we have the uh, Mega Active MA305 running on 12 volts, and on the right, we have the Benito Bonnie Whip also running on 12 volts. Now these two E-field antennas I know from previous experience operate basically identically. And on this signal, on medium wave, we have the MA305 with a signal strength of minus 55 dB, signal to noise of sort of 27 dB, 26, 27. And then with the Bonnie Whip, we've got signal strength of minus 57 dB, signal to noise of sort of 25 uh, and a half. So signal to noise on this signal, pretty similar, 26, uh, 26, 26. Within at 1 dB, I would say. Um, and if you look at the noise floor on these two um, spectra, you know, it's basically identical. So I'm going to disconnect the MA305 on the left. I'm going to put the CCMC30, Benito's coaxial common mode noise filter, and let's see what we've got. So bear with me one second. Okay, right, so here we go. Um, a big drop in the noise floor. Um, we've got the noise floor is now around about minus 110 dBs and it's still up at around about minus 100 on the Bonnie Whip. And we've got a signal to noise now of around about 30 dBs versus still around about 25 for the Bonnie Whip. So we've got a big improvement. Um, So that's the audio on the MA305 with the CCMC30 in position. And then we've got the audio on the Bonnie Whip um, just plugged directly into the SDR Play RSP Duo. That's quite impressive. Um, that's, 10, that's a 10 dB reduction in noise floor. Uh, a significant improvement, 4 or 5 dB improvement in signal to noise. Um, and using basically two identically performing antennas. So on medium wave, I would say uh, we're seeing a similar, if not better, level of noise um, suppression than we were on long wave. Um, although the long wave signal, or at least signal to noise was worse on an AM. Now, as I said before, I'm used to using the galvanic isolator, so I'm, and I use it all the time when I'm doing any serious DXing. Um, and yeah, yeah, again, it'll be it will be interesting to try the CCMC30 with a galvanic isolator in series with it to see because apparently that, like I said before, that can give even better results. Um, but uh, in fact, here you get the signal. Yeah, so the signal is actually improving. I mean, my filter width actually is probably not even suitable um, right now for that particular signal. So I can improve. Let's make them improve the filter on both. Improve the width and then so we've got so that's the MA305 CCMC30 and the Benito Bonnie Whip I mean you can actually see that the, 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 the signal has more in, greater intensity on the left There you go. I think that's a really good result. So, um, you know, these devices, I think, are 99 euros. So they're not very cheap. Um, but if you live in a noisy environment, bear in mind, I'm using two E-field antennas here um, just to give me a, a good datum uh, of noise to work against. Um, I think that's a really, really good result for this, uh, for this little device. So uh, anyway, uh, more videos to come. Hope it was useful. Thanks for watching.